Wobble up a dub dub motherfuckers. What is going on everyone? It is I. It is everyone's favorite jack of all trades. <coughs> With a foul mouth coming to Urban. And welcome back to another awesome fucking video guys. I greatly, greatly, greatly do appreciate it. And before I do dive into this bitch, I want to give a big special shout out to all you guys. My viewers and my subscribers for sticking around watching this shit. The reason why I fucking do it is for you guys, so ye. Yeah. And this is going to be part 5 and the final part to my build of the monochrome slash trumpeter models. One, the 350th scale model of the S100 Chanel boot. Now in part 4, we had added like the uh, the Chanel boots machine gun, you know, different guns on it. Couldn't fly gun, anti-aircraft gun. We added the two torpedoes. We added all the other little tiny bits and pieces on Well, this video, we're going to be dealing with the installation of the railing on it. The other little bits and bobs and shit. And the ships, or not ship, I mean the boats, propellers. So any fucking further ado, we're going to go ahead and not look on in. This is what the photo etch set looked like. It was about that same size too, so anyway. It's the white instant model Chanel boot late series armored bridge. Anyway. Anyway, we'll go ahead and get the Chanel boot. And as you can see, here it is. Pretty pretty fucking detailed. If I can get it to fucking focus in on it. Come on, focus in on it. There we go, fuck. Anyway, you can see the railing go all the way around it. Now, the railing I first added first was on the stern, which was part number six. But that fucking shit didn't want to go on well because even though on this Schnitt boot, the um, depth charge racks only went to the edge of the deck. As seen here, the depth charge rails on this Schnitt boot came out over the side. So what I had to do to be able to make it work was I had to cut out the lower bottom of the rail and these two support stanchions, not, not the whole things, but just the lower parts of them. And just using the very ends of the fucking shit you see there, I was able to drop it in like fucking so. And now it is in place. Now, these railing bits were either parts one or two. One, part, there's two of one, two, and two. The ones were the open railing and two were the ones with the canvas dodgers. I decided to use the open ones so you could see onto the deck. And it came from there to about right there. And that's where they stopped. So you had this little tiny area that was open still. But you're saying, but Commodore, they're fucking railing all the way to it. How the fuck did you do it? Well, that was very fucking simple. In the instructions, they give you part 30, which is a 20 millimeter handrail for S10 model. And in part 12, which is a bow railing for the S10 variant of the Chanel boot, which is the early version. What I did is I took this, I cut a small section of this, the top portion of it, and glued it in the center of this to make three bar railing. And then from that, I was able to cut a section that was too long on each. And then with that, I dropped it in at the end of that piece and hooked it up to, to there. And then on the other side of the Chanel boot, I fucking added it there and hooked it up to there. So now the railing goes all the way from the back side of the, um, the bridge 
or the armored bridge area, all the way to the fucking stern. And of course you have the railing there as well. And another thing I added were the life rings, 32, which there were three of them. There were two here and then one there. So I took orange paint and I painted them and I added them to the back side of the bridge area. There was one there, one on the center, and one right there. And you're probably wondering why did I put them there? That's actually based on some photographs I've seen of an S100 Chanel boot that actually had three life rings and they were in those same positions. One on the port side, one on the back side of the bridge area, and one on the starboard. So you had that. Now the next thing I added was parts 19 and 27. Fucking 19 here is an ensign staff and then 27 is a jack staff. Now, some of the early S boats, the early models had the ensign staff on the stern. And some of them had them halfway up. But on the late series armored bridge variant, the S100s, they had the ensign and jack staffs up near the bridge. Like so. And yet again, this is from a picture source that where I got this from. The ensign staff is this one here. And the one with the little bit of brown uh, tan paint that's for rope, that is the jack staff. So, communication flags would be up on this one, and the Kriegs Marine Battle Ensign would be on that one, fucking right there. And they are attached to this area here, which on the picture I've seen of an S100 of this particular type, that's where they were installed at. And now finally, the propellers. Those were a little bit tricky. And they were parts 21. There were three of them. So, but two of them had to have hubs. The outer, the two fucking outboard props had hubs. So I took the two plastic propellers that had hubs from the kit. You know, the, the actual plastic ones that came with the model. And I cut the blades off and kept the hubs. And so I glued the hubs onto the outer two props and then I gave them a coat of several different layers of different paint like black, silver, gold and then finally like a bronze and I let them dry overnight because the paint's really sticky and shit so once I did that I was able to install them if I can get them to focus in there we go. You can see the two outboard screws have hubs on them, see? This is a good way of showing, you see? The two outboard screws have the hubs from the fucking plastic ones, like so. And the center one is lined up with the shafts and hooks to the back side of the rudder, how it was on the real S100. The shafts are painted silver. And the overall look of this little craft is pretty much done. As you can see, this thing is fully detailed from stem to stern, starboard to port, top to bottom. And you can see the overall effect looks pretty fucking good, guys. It's a nice little model kit, very nice. And since I have it, I might as well go ahead and just, you know, talk about it a little bit since I've got a little bit of time left. I'll just kind of throw in just kind of a review of it real quick, quick little review. It's not, it was not a bad little model. But, but, you know, if you bought this thing separately, like from Trumper, it was like 15 bucks, came on a fucking blister card. It did come with a little sheet of photo etch, mainly just like gun shields and shit, propellers, and four pieces of long etch to make a base. But that base looked like shit. 
base I made for it, which does the job fucking nicely. You know, S100 Schnittle Boot does very well. And I also like the touch of the Iron Cross with the fucking swastika, which this is a Kriegsmarine vessel. So overall, it's a nice kit. I mean, would I pay $15 just to buy it? No, not really. And what about the photo etch? Well, the photo etch cost me about 10 bucks, free shipping, so, because I ordered it through fucking White Ensign models. So, ten, about $25 to build this model overall. Yeah, a little pricey for something that's no bigger than your fucking middle finger, but, you know, I mean, it's a nice little model, you know, 1350 scale. So, yeah. That's basically it, guys. She's done. I would give the model fucking two thumbs up, you know. It's not bad. So there you have it, guys. That is part five, the final build. And a little bit of just kind of a quick little review and overview of what I thought about it. You know, like I said, nice little kit. And if you do decide to buy this detail set for it, you know, it's worth it. It is worth it. My mom and my brother thought I was stupid for buying a detail set for something so fucking small. They're like, you ain't gonna be able to do that. But once I got done, I showed it to them. They're like, damn. Fuck off, oh, son of a bitch. Luckily, it won't hurt it none because it's so small. Now nah, you fucking cunt. Stay on there. So, yeah. We'll give it an overview in, overlook. There's the bow of it. There's the stern. Pick it off off its base. There's the back. There's all the detail. There's the decking and sign. There's that. If I can pick it up this way. There's the machine gun mount in front. There's the side. So yeah, turned out really fucking well. I really liked it. I'm really happy with it. And um, I'm hoping to get around to actually getting ready to be working on the Prince Eugen soon. But this came out of the Prince Eugen kit. So this, this part of the build's actually done. So the S100 build's done. Now next, when I get the fucking shit for it, hopefully whenever soon, I will start on the Prince Eugen, which will be part five. So yeah. If you guys enjoyed this little build series of the monochrome slash trumpeter models S100 Chanel boot, um, please, you know, fucking hit the like button and shit. And if you're new to my channel, like the shit I do, you know, hit the fucking subscribe button, hit damn notification bell. Never miss a video from yours truly ever again. If you're interested in what I'm doing and want to, you know, you know, get in touch with me, you know, you can uh, fucking leave a comment section. You know, leave a fucking comment down in the comment section. I'll get with you because I like talking with you guys. So yeah. Let's get to 2007 by the end of the year. Be fucking awesome. So, yeah. Anyway, until next time, this is Commodore Urban. Santa Smooth Seas and Clear Skies. Happy sailing with you. God bless you all. Take care. Stay safe. Be yourselves. Jesus and the good Lord, they love you very much indeed. That's why he um, gave his only son to be, res to be um, put on the cross as far as sins. Because he loved us so much. Anyway, hope you all doing well and stuff. Until next time around. And I'll catch a warm trade wind where hell anyone knows and let's go Brandon, fuck Joe Biden, and fuck Comrade Kamala Harris and Tampon Timmy Walls. They both fucking suck in Trump 2024, baby. Yeah.